Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. All units, this is Coronas. We are under attack by Acreage Swarm. Large quantities need backup. Does anyone copy? Over. Coronas, roger that. I'm flying to assist. Be there ASAP. Holy cow, Jim, is that you? I don't know how you're alive, but we need you, brother. Hurry, Coronas out. Flyers coming in from the interior canyon. Markham, can you assist? No can do. We've got our own problems in the rack area. Hutchings, can you assist in the deck area? Hutchings? Anybody? It's Jim. The cavalry's arrived. Sit tight, kid. Be right there. Jim! You're back! Oh, that's awesome! Please, come save my ass!
Well, ain't that a kick in the teeth? My favorite customer is alive. And just in time for the party. Here they come. Show me what you got. Some shooting there. I knew you had skills. Okay, okay, you better get going. I can handle myself here. Summer at the beach. Welcome back, boss. And this is why I never leave the hangar. <laughs> I bet I can shoot more of them than you can, Pedro. Nice. I bet you really miss this one projecting its insecurities. Huh? Talk English, boy. Looks like that's the last of them. Jim, we need you back on the main deck. More bogeys on approach. On my way. Dude, what if they come back? Don't worry, petit gamin. I'll stay here for protection. Ah, oh, that's sweet, man. I didn't know you cared. Ha, <laughs> as if I trust you to guard my rig. <laughs> See what he did there? back here I had the same distress call you did no doubt been trying to find out what's causing this frenzy and I think the answer's in Kenny's lab but we need more firepower to punch through Roger that I'm inbound
Navic survival tip number four. Always keep your sights high while working in extreme frigid conditions. Hypothermia is your greatest enemy, so heat retention and moisture management are key to your survival. Avoid submersion at all costs, and keep a backup pair in your emergency kit. Stay dry. Stay alive. This facility is an emergency lockdown. Elevator lockdown has been bypassed. Auxiliary power to hydraulics. System engaged. Warning. Intrusion detected. Initiating defense protocols.
the scanning zone to begin decontamination procedure. Initiating diagnostics. Performing containment analysis. Your cooperation is appreciated. Please remember to report any indigenous life forms within the station to the appropriate zone manager. Have a good day. James, over here! Listen, your resident super genius built some kind of experimental machine that's drawing the acrid here and agitating them more than usual. Why would Kovach build something to cause this? You're asking the wrong scientist. See the quarantine room in the center of the lab? Right through the glass there? You blast your way in and put a stop to this mess. We'll keep him off your tail. Jim! Good heavens! How long have you been not dead? Oh, you're just in time to witness my breakthrough. Isn't this spectacular? Look at it all. I'm working on it, guys. Medic equipment must be reported to the appropriate sector manager. Destroying the prototype was quite unnecessary. I'm sure I only needed to adjust the frequency. Yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. Hope saving your life didn't put you out. Oh no, I forgive you. I know carnage and mayhem is part of your nature, and without it, you just wouldn't be you. Or nearly as useful to me. You made a device that can drive the acrid crazy. Well, I would need to run more experiments to know for sure. Establishing a baseline of sanity for these creatures might be prohibitive of itself. Nevertheless, I'm glad the base was able to- Auxiliary work. power systems at 30%. James, a moment. Listen, I don't want to cause a general panic or anything, but just glancing at Coronas while heading in, she's in bad shape. The way the storms are increasing in intensity, I'm concerned it's only a matter of time until the structural integrity is compromised. I don't know, Doc. Seems like a pretty good reason to panic. You got any suggestions? I may. There are some tests I'd like to run, but I'd need your help. Wait for my call and we'll chat properly. In the meantime, I'm sure Braddock wants to catch up with you. The acrid are retreating. Looks like Delta Station's in the clear. The swarm is subsiding in the hangar as well. 
Whatever you did seemed to work, Jim. We're ever thankful. I'm happy to help. I'm just glad to be back home. Science is not an exact science. At its best, science is, is chaotic and unpredictable. Often produces a foul odor that you cannot scrub from your fingers. Nature has bottomless mysteries and, and contradictions, a fanfare of ironies and impossibilities. Male seahorses bearing litters. Mm. Frogs consuming their own offspring. Entire population infused with its planet's lifeblood. I've observed these things with my own eyes. I've carved the verities of truth from them with my bare hands. Any answer, and I, I do mean any answer, can be dissected into being. Any secret can be cut open when the scalpel is sharp enough. This is science, right? 80% uh, patience and 20% is cutting things open. <laughs> Until next time, Mother. Hey, boss. Nice to see everything still running as smooth as ever. I knew you are still alive. <laughs> so where the hell you been? So, you fought a G-class acrid, fell down the side of a mountain, landed on the other side of Shaq's Peak, and somehow survived for two weeks before you got back into Comrade? Thankfully, the rig was flush with rations and ammo. Lucky timing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you've got a good luck charm or you are one. Off and luck feels just like getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Jim, you know, I uh, take you at your word, of course, but uh, I'm sensing there's a little more to your story. Well, now that you mention it, there is this. What is that? Where did you find that? I'm sensing that you already know the answer to that. Don't toy with me, Peyton. What did you find? Why don't you tell me what I found? We're the first humans to set foot on this planet, so obviously I didn't find some 50-year-old Nevek base, did I? You keep your voice down. Is that really all you have to say? No. It's important you understand something, Jim. Keeping the first colony under wraps wasn't my idea. It's one of the terms I had to agree to for Nevek to greenlight this mission in the first place. Perception is vital to their interests. I go to great lengths to conceal such a debacle. Coronas was set to land far, far from the original site, but the storm forced us down here. Nearer to the truth than I could have even ever hoped. Hoped? Why would you hope for this? That's why. General Charles Braddock, commander of the first Neo Venus Colonial Expeditionary Force. Your old man led the first colony. Led it, and lost it. And he was never the same. Something happened here. Something you would never talk about. 
right. So... You're here to what? Fulfill your father's dreams? Redeem his failures? I'm here to solve the energy crisis. And maybe get some answers with your help. Consider this an opportunity. A standing contract for further investigation. Not for Coronas, but for me personally. And I'll pay a premium for your ongoing discretion. So I get to lie to everybody, too? If a word of this reaches Nevek, they'll take back the whole operation. Put it under paramilitary command. I hate lying to the men, Jim, but... It's for their own good. Trust me. I'll see what I can see. By the way, Jim, a supply drop came in while you were away, and if I'm not mistaken, we got all the parts we need for a couple of major upgrades to your rig. One of them's a gas torch. I've got some contracts for you on the new pipeline, so uh, I need you ready to do some welding. The other upgrade? Well, I'll just let Gail show you that one. Welcome back. <laughs> you can never carry enough grenades if you ask me. Thanks, Jim. You keep fighting a good fight. Man alive! Jim, I'm glad you're back. It was a long couple of weeks. Of course I told him you'd make it. Never a doubt in my mind. Oh, won't Braddock be happy? His favorite, back from the dead. LaRoche is happy to see you too. Hey, major, major upgrade time for you. Parts came in for an acetylene torch? Sexy, right? I can slap that together in no time. But the other upgrade... It's gonna take significant surgery, but you're gonna love it. Consider it a little welcome home gift from Braddock and yours truly. Your chassis is a Dynasty 2 swing arm. Platform compatible. All the access holes line up and everything if we want to fully convert. You game? I trust you, Gail. And if you hurt her, I'll cut your arms off. Sweet! This is it, Jim. My masterpiece. Your rig can now transform into a drilling platform. The suspension might feel a little tighter, and sorry about that, but you're gonna lose your mind when you see what your rig can do now. The Roche, no begging for one. Giving you enough chances. Fancy but useless, huh? What good is a drilling platform without knowing the location of deep thermal pockets? Shush! You're ruining the high. Jim? You were also officially upgraded with the Mitchell Industries oxyacetylene torch. Dual 150 oxygen regulators with a custom thermodyne cutting tip. It's a small flame for welding and cutting, so don't expect to melt the environment with it. It's pretty pyro-proof. Gotta say, proud of this one. Just check the valve reseals on the cylinder from time to time. And the Frankenstein rig keeps growing. Mmm, yeah. 
LaRoche, can I have a second alone with Gail? Ah, I don't want to be here for this anyway. Au revoir. Listen, Gail, can you look at getting a replacement for this purifier? Uh, dude, this is like 50 years old. I don't think a modern day replacement would work with wherever this came from. But I can look at repairing it for you. Busting out the welding goggles. Tell the truth, Jim. How did you survive in the wild for two weeks? Oh, uh, no big story to tell. Fell off a cliff, nearly died, got rescued by a beautiful snow princess who magically healed me at her secret hideaway. Pretty much what you'd expect. Nice. Points for creativity. I'll get the real story out of you when I get the purifier repaired. Till next time, boss. Welcome back. Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? See you around. Cool. What do we get to do today? Sure, I can bolster the hole a little further. Harder's better, right? Doodles. Now that your rig's upgraded, test it out on a deep core T energy reservoir in the North Plains. Braddock out. Waste management to Annex B, frequent station. Waste management to Annex B.